Good afternoon to you. Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com, here with your Hurricane Outlook and discussion. Tuesday, November 26, 2019. Of course, nothing going on in the Atlantic Basin. The hurricane season just about over, on the calendar anyway. We know that we might have some development out over the ocean somewhere, sometime between now and next June. It's possible. Uh, if you followed this long enough, you know how that works. But currently, nothing going on in the tropics, just a little area of clouds and showers down here close to South America, affecting Trinidad and Tobago a little bit. Uh, but strong upper-level winds will preclude this from developing into a tropical cyclone. Lots of moisture and energy coming up out of the Pacific on the subtropical jet. In the meantime, energy diving in with a lot of energy. Speaking of energy, there's a lot of it there. 180 mile per hour plus jet stream. Very, very strong low pressure area now curling up here. That will crash into the Oregon, California coastline. Later today, powerful storm system going to bring very, very heavy mountain snows through the Sierras here, all the way down to the valleys, of course, from there. Heavy rain, which is very much needed. And this storm system will have a big impact crossing the country over the next week or so. You've already got this storm system in the middle of the country. And just real quick, saying this storm system, that storm system, I think it does beg the question that maybe these should be named, these powerful storm systems. I know that the Weather Channel does that. That is a marketing thing. Um, but, you know, when we have to say this storm system, that storm system, we don't do that in the tropics. Why? Because we name them. So maybe these potent winter storms should be named. And it's funny because we name them after the fact. The President's Day Storm. The Great Blizzard of 1977. The Superstorm of 1993. Those are all afterwards. But anyhow, I digress. It just makes it easier sometimes if you do have a naming convention. And they do this in Europe uh, for the most part. But you know what? That's not my department. Just something I thought I'd bring up. But yes, we do have, you know, we can call this storm system number one, storm system number two. Uh, this moisture coming up, very busy pattern. Over the lower 48, we'll come back to this in just a moment. It is still tropical cyclone season somewhere. And then the South Pacific here, Rita, uh, which is not going to be of concern to anybody in particular in terms of intensity or major impact. But this one here um, could be. Uh, a new tropical storm, and I don't know, is, would you call that Kamuri? Kamuri? I, I don't know. The Whatever. Uh, this one could be an impact as it takes its time figuring out what it's going to do, uh, eventually towards the Philippines. And you can see that it's south of the Marianas here, including Guam. Um, I believe that's where that is. Hopefully I have my geography right. If I don't, I apologize. I'm not perfect. Uh, I do know that this is generally headed into the vicinity of the Philippine Sea. And with that being said, maybe the Philippines. And let's take a look at that in the modeling here. This is the Western Pacific. I don't often show the Western Pacific, but when I do, it's usually for a pretty strong typhoon. Kind of like that beer commercial, right? Um, and you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, here it is. There's the storm right there in the modeling. This is the Euro. Strong ridge of high pressure to its north. They're fairly, fairly strong anyway. And if we move this out into time, this is every 24 hours. There's the typhoon to be. It strengthens. The ridge weakens. It kind of dances around, mills a little bit. Then the ridge builds back in at day four and day five, day six, day seven. Uh, it goes in south of the island of Luzon, which is right here. And that's a pretty intense typhoon. We'll watch this. This is a week out. And just as we know by tracking Atlantic hurricanes, a lot can happen over the next week. But it's definitely something to keep an eye on. Uh, this little stop that it does here, that stalling, um, that could be important because if it gains more latitude here, and tries to connect with that trough right there, that opening, then it may get too far away and never get back to the west much after that. We'll see. By day seven, it's pretty close to the Philippines, and day eight, it cuts through. But again, that's seven and eight days out. We will just wait and see about that. But we'll certainly be watching that closely for interest over there and um, all that that implies because, hey, a big typhoon through there 
People live there. We want to talk about it. All right, look at this, man. The lower 48, I tell you what, if you're traveling today, tomorrow, well, if you're in the east, you're okay. But, you know, west of there, uh, west of the Mississippi River here, hey, I do know that geography, um, this is a real nightmare. Denver, cancellations, delays. San Francisco, eventually down here to L.A., you know, Vegas, uh, Salt Lake City up here somewhere, um, parts of Oregon, Portland, Oregon, you name it, big time trouble. Look at this. This is really remarkable. All the areas, these are all the counties of the United States, all the county warning areas, you know, and just to give you an idea of what's what, let's use the color black here, uh, hurricane force winds, wind warnings offshore, storm force uh, right up to the coast, winter storm warnings, all this pink, uh, blizzard warnings here in northeast Colorado. Hey, that'd be kind of cool to see that. Um, and uh, winter storm, I think that's what that is, in southeastern Kansas. Uh, and all this brown is like wind advisory. So you talk about big FUBAR travel, this is it. Not the worst I've ever seen because it's you know not all like ice. Ice would just be horrible. But this is pretty bad. So if you're traveling... Uh, especially tomorrow, hopefully you get to where you're going by Thursday, but you know Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and through the weekend, all of this energy out here, the storm system here, this will progress this way, this is going to dive in and then come across. It's going to be a real nightmare, and this is when weather will make headlines, and it's already doing so. This will be even more so, uh, and it's going to affect people. It affects the economy. It affects people's ability to travel. It affects commerce, interstate travel. Uh, interstate commerce, of course, the interstate system in the United States gets heavily impacted. And this is one of those situations where you're literally talking about tens of millions of people, uh, maybe even of, eventually over 200 million people will be affected by this. And it can be deadly if you're not aware of what's going on. So weather.gov, as I say often, it's the best crowdfunded site out there. I talk about Patreon. Well, here you go. This is U.S. tax dollars at work and weather.gov. If you want to know what's up, go there, click on any of these areas, and then you got all the warnings here listed. And it's a patchwork. I tell you what, unbelievable. So what's the deal with it? How's it going to work out? Well, lower 48, here's the east coast of the U.S. right here just to get your bearings, Florida, Gulf Coast, west coast of the United States, Baja, California, and Mexico. Here's one storm system. Doesn't look too bad, but it's it's bringing the goods there. Snowing in uh, Colorado, Nebraska. That's what all this blue is, the coating that Levi Cowan has done on his Tropical Tidbit site. There's the low-pressure area right there in uh, Kansas. Here's that mega storm system coming in off the Pacific towards Oregon, Northern California. We put all this into motion. And the storm system in the nation's midsection there, uh, this really starts to crank up. Severe weather possible for parts of the south. Snow and blizzard conditions maybe on the northwest side. Definitely heavy snow. And then when you really see that dark blue show up there, that is some serious snow. And in the Sierra Nevada, boy, they're going to be measuring it in feet. And it's going to be windy, power outages there, you name it. Just a nasty, it's really kind of cool in the meteorological sense. And it would be amazing to be out there in it, in my opinion. Uh, as a weather geek and a geographer, that's really fascinating to me. But this is the dangerous kind of storm. And you got two of them there cranking up. Uh, this is valid Wednesday afternoon. So by 24 hours out, I mean, wow, Chicago in vicinity. You know, it might not be going crazy in Chicago with weather, but all around it and the approaching flights, pass. Turbulence, yup, yuck. Not going to like it. So... Rent a car. That's my advice. Remember that movie, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, with John Candy and Steve Martin? Yep, this is that kind of week. Uh, take a train, take a car, because air travel is going to be yuck. Albuquerque, New Mexico. You know your geography? Down here in this area, that's New Mexico. There's Nevada, Utah, California. This system slides off the East Coast Thursday, threatening the, um, the Macy's uh, parade there, possibly. Uh, with some strong northwest wind as this slides offshore. Kind of hangs out just a little bit there. So maybe some heavy snows in Maine. And then 
The storm system cranks up in the desert southwest over Arizona. Mountain snows, valley rains, they need it, but it's going to be heavy. Flash flooding, yep, that could be a possibility. Flagstaff, Arizona, and the mountains around there, maybe Spring Mountains out of uh, Las Vegas. Mammoth Mountain in California, the Wasatch Range in Utah, the Rockies, it's all coming. Winter is coming. Drag out the meme from Game of Thrones is headed your way. We end the hurricane season on Saturday, November 30th, and look, uh, winter's hurricane, if you will, over the high plains, rain in the east here, snow on the west side, and then this slides to the east over time, moving on out through Sunday, and then look what happens. The low reforms off the coast, and maybe, just maybe, it hangs around long enough to give us going into Monday, everybody's trying to return to work, and the megalopolis up here, the I-95 corridor, and points east. Boston, maybe, I don't know yet. New York, yep, Long Island, seems so. Atlantic City, Belmar, down to the uh, Delaware, Maryland coast. The possibility now about six days out of a major winter storm showing up in the models here cranks up and then it tries to scoot out you know what usually happens with these systems if you watch this long enough you know you watch hurricanes you watch these nor'easters sometimes we see them kind of mill around and then they kind of come up the coast closer instead of the gfs solution trying to find a way out and that's what the euro tries to show uh in that area so let's fast forward this just to show you real quick trying to anyway so there it is, day six, at, uh, day five and six, right off the uh, mid-Atlantic, New England, or what would you call that, the northeast coast. This is New England up here. So more of the mid-Atlantic, northeast, Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, uh, Long Island, etc. Yeah, New York City in there, Philadelphia, uh, Atlantic City down here, you name it. That could be a possibility. It's still six days out. This could be nothing. It could be stronger. It could be more impactful could be further north, farther north, whatever. We will see. I'll be watching this closely because this would be something that I would go after and set up cameras for, report on from in person, etc., so forth and so on. So stay tuned. We end the season of hurricanes and jump right into the season of winter storms. Quite a different look than what we had last year where we really only had one significant winter storm in the east, and that was early December. The pattern looks to be much more active this year and different, so I think we're going to see these often with breaks in between, just like we have during hurricane season. You get bursts, and then things calm down. So we'll watch this. We'll watch what goes on with the potential typhoon in the West Pack, and we'll say goodbye to the Atlantic hurricane season all in the next several days. All right? All right, that's it. Uh, after yesterday's 30 minute plus video today's a little bit shorter so there you go have a great rest of your tuesday as always i appreciate you tuning in from your side of the screen awesome to have you there i am mark sutteth hurricane i'll be back with more for you tomorrow